Hey there, I am Chris Palmer. In this how to structure a local website video, what I'd like to go ahead and do is take you through a overview of the process of all the work that I did step by step through a tutorial that was an hour and a half. You could check out that video. But what I want to go ahead and give you right now is a overview of exactly what we laid out for this client. Now I want you before you start to visualize or you can write down on notepad or Excel. I used a mind map. I, I used both actually. Uh, but what I would definitely recommend doing before you start is if you're in a business, especially a local business, write down exactly the primary services that you offer, all of your secondary services and all of the locations that you service. All right. Once you have that, you want to start laying down and this is what I did. You want to start laying down your main navigational elements. So for this particular client, as you can come over here and take a look, what I did and what I decided to do was lay out each of the vehicles because the primary service is a auto repair shop for German cars, specifically BMW, Audi, Porsche, VW, Mini Cooper, Mercedes, right? These are the primary services that they offer. Auto repair, BMW, auto repair, Audi, auto repair. You get the point. So with that being said, what I did here is I laid out each in the white here is the main navigation. All right. So this is also going to be the header or the lead navigation. The next thing that I wanted to go ahead and do, if you zoom in, is on this main navigation page. All right. What I wanted to do was give a clear instruction to the web builder of how I wanted those pages to look. So what I broke down here was I have the header. I broke down that I have a hero image. Here's my headings, body content, right? Heading two, body, age three, body. On each of the actual main service pages, I want to list out the secondary vehicle services, right? So this page right here, BMW, so it's germancardepot.com forward slash BMW auto repair. On the auto repair page, okay? On the auto repair page, I want it to look like this. It's going to list out all of the other secondary services and the other locations that we service. Okay. All of the secondary services need to be listed on this primary page. And I gave a brief example of how the structure should look and also how the page should look like a wireframe of the page. Now, when you go to the secondary page, say I'm on you know, BMW auto repair, the BMW auto repair page. And I were to click on, you know, one of the secondary services, let's say for instance, it's air conditioner repair. I gave an example inside the mind map of how I want that structure to lay secondary services. All right. To the primary, I want to signal that to Google. So for example, we have germancardepot.com forward slash BMW auto repair. That's the primary service, BMW auto repair. Air conditioner repair is a secondary to the BMW auto repair. It is a BMW auto repair service. It's air conditioner. So what I did is I put it like that inside the structure. It's secondary, so it's farther in the structure. If I were to click on any of the main services, or I'm sorry, secondary services on the main page, which is this one, this is the main page. Any of these that I click on, they're going to be second. It's the secondary service. All right. So uh, I guess you would call that what mother, father, right? Father, daughter, something like that. Right. You, you get the point here. I think it's parent. I forget how WordPress lays it out, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is how I want each of the primary service pages to look. And this is the structuring or the nesting of the website URLs. All right. So I went ahead and laid out each of those. The next thing that I wanted to go ahead and do is I wanted to also make sure that I put in each of the locations under the about us. I wanted to put in because I want that to be a drop down that has each and every one of the filler pages is what I call it. So when you come in here and you take a look, we have meet the team, you know, who are they? What's our mission? privacy, compliancy, copyright, HTML sitemap, the contact us, uh, these types of elements. All right, let's get rid of that. 
Next, we have the news slash blog. Of course, if you take a look at the white paper, Google came out with a, a white, pa white paper, I think 2021, 2022, and 19, I believe, 2021, 20, 22. They've been updating it periodically. But in any case, they say that it is best practice according to the Raiders guidelines, that you should have a news or an update and a meet us and you know have your phone number relevant, right? So we wanted to make sure that we have a news or a blog, but we wanted to use that in a special way. And, and what I wanna point out to you when you're structuring your site, always remember if you're a local business or a service-based business, that informational content is only there to support the main idea. It should never outweigh the transactional pages. So that's why when we come over here, okay, I'll show you this. That's why when we came over here, what I did here is I structured it this way because it's always recommended if you have a primary page you're trying to rank, you wanna have what, two to three pieces of supporting content, right? But you don't wanna go three hops. You don't wanna go farther than three hops. So I'm only making sure it's one, two hops right? And I have all this supporting content to support the main idea. Now, when I build out my blog content, okay, or my news content, if you come on over here and take a look, the example that I gave was, hey, we're going to build it out, but it's going to be there to support the primary or top level pages or the top level location pages. For example, how to promote your auto repair shop in Pembroke Pines. This blog article, the focus of that article is all about auto repair in Pembroke Pines. We're going to link that over heavily internally link over to the Pembroke Pines page. Okay. Now let's say you were to come down here, how to fix brakes on a BMW. This is a supporting piece of content for the brakes secondary service page. So if you take a look over here, we have our BMW. And that's a secondary service, fixing brakes. We do brakes for BMWs, right? That blog article is a supporting or a buffer page for the brake page. Get what I'm saying? All right, perfect. So that's going to be our blog, our main navigation. That's how our service page is going to look, our top level category page. This is our main navigation. This is our header. I also went ahead and laid out the footer of how I want the footer to look. Quick links, vehicles, locations, and of course, a picture of the logo, if there's enough room. Now, what I want to go ahead and point out over here in this overview is I want to point out the locations, okay? So this is why when, if I get on clients, the first thing I want to know is what's the primary location and what's the most profitable service? because of the amount of work and time that's involved. Because if I, if I have a main business, for instance, this business, this business is located in Hollywood, Florida, right? I need to build out all my top level category pages, auto repair, BMW, auto repair, Audi, right? And then I need to build out my secondary service pages, right? So that's going to be BMW suspension repair, BMW, right? Brake repair, BMW oil change. That's my secondary services. So I need those. But now when I add on another location, now I need to have BMW auto repair location two, BMW auto repair location three, and I need to have BMW auto repair location two slash service repair based on that new location. You get what I'm saying? So if I had on the initial location site, on the normal site, I have 50 pages. If I add two more locations, that's another 100 pages that I, that I need to build in order to do it right. A lot of times what you'll see is you'll land on somebody's site and they'll have locations and they'll have services. When you click on the location page, it's simply just a copy of the primary service, right? Like they don't take the time usually to build out all of the pages and the services just like you did for the main location. But I highly recommend that you do, all right? You'll just have better results over time. You'll have a bigger, more authoritative website. It's a lot better. In any case, let's go back into here. I hope this is all making sense for you. Let's take a look at how we wanna structure these locations, all right? Now, what I did is there is going to be uh, a locations tab, all right, in the main header navigation. Now, if I'm hovering on, say, desktop, 
there will be a drop down and it will say the secondary locations like Pembroke Pines, Hollywood, Aventura, uh, Fort Lauderdale. This one shouldn't be here. All right, my mistake, but in any case, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. All right. Now, when I'm when I click on one of those pages, all right, we'll take a look at this. So let's say I'm on the locations tab. Okay. What, how I want this to look, if I were to go on the page, is just like this. All right. Let's just make sure that this looks uh, proper. Okay. So this is Pembroke Pines, GermanCarDepot.com forward slash auto repair Pembroke Pines. Perfect. I love it. That's the Pembroke Pines page. It's a top level category page. Auto repair is the primary category. Primary page, auto repair Pembroke Pines. When I'm on that page, I'm going to list out each of the vehicles that I service, okay? Which is BMW, Audi, VW, Porsche, and Benz. That's on this page. So when I'm on the drop down, if I click Pembroke Pines, this is the page that I'm going to see. It's just going to list out the different vehicles. If I were to click on, say, BMW, I will land on this page, GermanCarDepot.com forward slash BMW Auto Repair Pembroke Pines. Okay, so now I'm on the BMW Pembroke Pines page. All right, makes sense. That's here. And what I want on this page, on the BMW page, is I want to list out each of the secondary categories that have to do with BMW and Pembroke Pines. So if I were to click on say suspension or tires or services or brake replacement, how I want that to look is just like I did on the main, just for the main site. This is just a secondary location. It's almost like another website in a way, but it's not, right? So if I were to click on that off of the BMW page, it's going to be mainwebsite.com, BMW Auto Repair Pembroke Pines, of course, forward slash air conditioner repair or perhaps air conditioner service. I have to do the keyword research to determine that. All right. But everything is going to be based on the location. And then you can only get there if you click on the certain cars. Okay. So this is going to be the structure. And, and then what I did is I just drew this up to locations. So that's going to be how I'm going to do the locations. That's how I am structuring out the news slash blog. That's main navigation. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it all. I went ahead and just gave almost like a key, right? Like main navigation is white, orange is the internal links, purple is a is a is a branch to show the structure better, right? So, like, okay, here's header, here's footer, but that's pretty much about it. Um, this is the thought process. Um, this is how I'm laying everything out. Um, the only thing I didn't point out is, say I click on this Mercedes-Benz page, the Mercedes-Benz page will list out each of the secondary services and the locations, okay? Just just so we're, we're both on the same page here. I hope that makes sense. Do you guys have any questions about that? I assume not, but if you did, let me know. If not, that's gonna wrap it up for today. All right, it's late as heck.